everybody. Welcome back to Mimi's Mixed Bag. I haven't done a monthly thrift haul in a couple months. September just kind of flew by for me and then here it is the end of October and so I decided instead of trying to go through all of that that most of you could care less about, I thought I would pick about a dozen of my favorite things for the last two months and share it with you. We went to Disney World last month and we did have one day that we just spent in Orlando sightseeing. Well we stopped at one of the Orlando Goodwills and it was like the super store or something. But anyway, I had a good time. My husband doesn't mind doing that occasionally with me. But this was this thing. Actually, it's swinging here. It's not supposed to be. But I thought this was so cute. It was all taped up. You really couldn't see what it was. But it was just these three tiers. They're metal and painted. and has these little metal magnets. But I thought it would be so cute to just print off something uh, seasonal for that for fall. And I may put that in my, my Thanksgiving home tour here at the end of the month, but I'm going to use that somehow. And I want to say I paid maybe $1.99, at the most $2.99. I just wanted to share that with you first. Okay, here are my other items. Uh, and you'll have to excuse, I'm just going to do a little pan out so you can see all my plants and everything are in the kitchen. We are almost through with our flooring in the front of the house. I got this little metal thing and I, I assume that it's like to hold Christmas cards or something like that. I just thought it was neat for $1.99. I picked up a couple of these dowel rods that's got the balls on the end of it. I'm going to be doing a little wall hanging craft here in a week or so. And it just so happened I needed those. You don't have to have them to make it, but this makes it even cuter. And let's see, what did I pay for these? Uh, 59 cents each. And so they're definitely more than that in the store. Totally scored on this a few weeks ago. This is just a Fisker cutter. This is about a $15 or $20 cutter. I have a, a paper cutter upstairs. It's a lot nicer and, and uh, actually a couple of them upstairs. But, you know, I couldn't pass this up for $2. And it didn't have a blade in it. it. Just so happened I had two or three replacement blades. Came home, popped that thing in there, and it is like a brand new paper cutter. You know, I don't have any really local friends that paper craft, but I'm hoping I will at some point in time. And this is something great that you can take to uh, someone's house or, you know, for a crop or something like that. And, and the ones I have upstairs are, are a lot bigger. I was glad to get that. Now, this right here is like a kid in a candy store for me. I mean, this is a huge gallon bag. Anytime I find these, I usually get them, whether it's ribbon or this is just a bag of wooden goodies. It is like wooden eggs, the old-fashioned clothespins, um, some little, some little uh, wooden things to make signs. Um, I mean, just all kinds of little wooden things, wooden hearts. And I mean, I bet there is $25 worth of stuff in here that at some point in time I will use. There's clothespins and things like that, but you know, you just never know when you need something like that and some little spindles. I mean, just all kinds of neat little wooden things that eventually I may use. I'm always tickled to get that. It's almost like a grab bag when you get home and untape it. Got these vinyl things. I just love these. These are very classic. I may use them in my front living room redo or I may save them for a craft. I hadn't decided yet, but I thought they were beautiful. Very classic design. I paid, let's see, 99 cents for each each one. And they, if you've ever priced these, they are way more than that. Uh, my Goodwill had uh, several sets of these little boy and girl rabbits for 99 cents each. And I thought they were so cute that I will use them somewhere. I've got quite a bit of Easter decor, but I couldn't pass that up for $2 for the set. Spool of Ribbon. This is the Celebrate 360 brand. This is Michael's brand. Got it for 99 cents. It would have been every bit of double that, even on sale at Michael's. I got this little key. Thought that was really pretty. Love that look. And I can spray paint it or keep it gold looking for 99 cents. And I've been telling myself for months that I was not going to get into pocket letters. And one day I said, you know, if I ever come across some of those baseball card holders, I might consider doing it. And lo and behold, I found a pack for, I think it's 99 or 59, I can't remember. But they are more than that at Walmart. I might give it a try. I've got a few people online that I know are doing that. And they are a cute little something to do. And, and so I might give the pocket letter a whirl or two. We'll see. And I got this brand new package of Avery, just cardstock. Um, it's a white card variety pack. I couldn't pass this up for 99 cents. And it already has uh, the envelopes. It has uh, the cards already perforated and scored and everything. And so I couldn't pass that up for, you know, 
already pre-made cards. And the last couple things is just a couple flags. Um, this is just kind of a horn of plenty or cornucopia, whatever you want to call it. I thought this would be really pretty to put out in, next week for November since I do have two big flags on the front and the back. And this is just, never seen one of these kind of quilted padded flags. This is a Cupid Valentine flag. That'll be really cute for February. That is the prize item for September and October of my thrift hauls. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.